The song is about words. The treachery of words. The danger of words. What does that mean? <sighs> to be honest, is is this idea that you can say a word and it, one word meaning so many different things. But also it's the fact that words re will remind you that you said them. There will come a point where you will say something and then remember yourself saying it. And either you will enjoy that memory or you will regret that memory. So words will revisit you. Once they've been spoken, they'll revisit you at some point and you will pay or you will rejoice. So I've loved and I've now lost love. And the pain of losing love is so severe that I want love to come back. But feeling the way I feel, knowing that this is what it costs to have love, do I actually want it to come back? So it's, it's being caught between love and I'm between loves right now and whew, it was it was beautiful when it was beautiful but it's hell the payment is hell I'd come out of a relationship and it was the most painful breakup I've ever been through and I was totally unprepared no one ever told me how breakups work and how deep they can cut I remember saying I even prayed I said I have no idea what I've done I said, I remember saying this to God, I said, I have no idea what I've done to deserve this. This is deep. Everyone here is familiar with bushfires, how devastating they can be. And in order to prevent the devastation of a bushfire, you have to get rid of the grass that will turn into tinder. So what the Bantu people did was conduct what is called a cool burn. So doing, they will prevent mass devastation deep into the dry season.
coolest and the smoothest point of your relationship, at your most relaxed at the sweetest point of your relationship. Conduct a cool burn. Burn your relationship. Plan your breakup. It's inevitable. It'll happen. One way or another. Whether you stay together or not, you will break up. Burn it. Burn it. See what happens. See what's actually underneath. Burn it. said to me well the house didn't go anywhere the neighbor didn't go anywhere but the third time you fell in love <laughs> that was like discovering a city and I was like wow wow and everything that you can do in a city and you grew in that city more than you'd ever done in the house or in the neighborhood. And every other time you have fallen in love since, you discover the country, you discover the continent, you discover a planet, you discover a solar system, you discover a galaxy, and so on and so on and so on. crazy thing about it, in fact, not even the crazy, the most beautiful part of it is the house is still there. And every now and again, you reminisce, you go back to that house and think, wow, that was amazing. You are not a house divided unto yourself simply because the love that you had the first time you fell in love is still there. That house is still standing. It should be. It is a monument and a testament of your beginning. It should be standing. In that neighborhood. In that city. In that country. In that continent. On that planet. In that solar system. In that galaxy. That you currently call love. This may sound a little strange I was dreaming about our breakup It will come sooner or later So it's nothing to be afraid of If we could see it from a mile away And make it something we were prepared for How would we celebrate? The journey of the day we came from Cause I I love that we're so simple to 